We never could have dreamt, we never could have imagined, we never could have predicted what could possibly happen. We knew the situation was bad, but didn't know the full extent. Information was hidden in the dark in an attempt to keep us ignorant. We were told lies and fantasies, we were falsely reassured that this would all be okay soon and no one would get hurt. But as we began to realize our possible fate, we became angry, but we were much too late. The numbers shot way up, the world spiraled out of control. Because of pride and selfishness, we had a rising death toll. The news got worse and worse. We began to lose hope. We allowed ourselves to mourn. It was the only way to cope. As the days went by and the seasons changed, our hearts hardened and our relationships strained. We became stuck in a time warp with no hope of escape. There was no good answer. We were surrounded by mistakes. The lies kept coming. The confusion continued to increase. We were lost in what to do. We were crumbling piece by piece. This reality does not seem real. This experience is one we will never forget. This pain is exhausting as we stay in confinement. As this cold winter continued, we struggled more and more. And if that wasn't enough problems, racial differences caused a war. Politics and protests, hatred and sin, the world became dark, no light could shine in. Violence was a primary resort by those meant to protect us all. Many did not feel safe as our world continued to fall. We cried out for help, we begged for a change. We approached peacefully, but were given cruelty in exchange. Masks became political symbols, politicians went head to head. Some were bad influences, others won the election. The election was won by the determination of the youth, the hope of the selfless, the ones who want the truth. As new generations enter this world, they see a complete mess, a mess they can fix together in order to help the rest. The young ones will fix the problems that their predecessors chose to neglect. They see what needs to be done. They see what they need to protect. As this year comes to a close, we can finally see the light, the light at the end of the tunnel. What an extraordinary sight. After nine months of suffering, after nine months of pain, we now see new opportunities and new horizons of change. We have a new group of leaders, leaders who truly care. We now have those to protect us, those who want things to be fair. So this battle may keep going, but we will keep fighting. We now know what we're up against, and we will keep on trying.